Hey, my name is April Cassidy. I'm the peaceful wife and the peaceful mom. Sometimes we need to apologize to our husbands, our kids, God, our neighbors, our friends, our coworkers. Apologizing can be hard or even intimidating. If you apologize in the wrong way, you can actually make things a lot worse. Here are a few examples of how not to apologize. Hey honey, so I mean, I'm sorry that I was yelling at you, but you know, you were really irritating me. And if you hadn't left all that dirt all over the floor, then I wouldn't have had to yell at you. So I'm sorry. Hey, I'm really sorry, honey, that I yelled at you. I shouldn't have done that. And I'm a terrible person. And I'm just gonna go to another room and sleep somewhere else tonight because I'm obviously the worst wife ever. I shouldn't have done that. Hey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Well, I really wasn't yelling. That was not yelling. No, I'm, I'm not gonna apologize because I, I don't think I was yelling. I think you're just overreacting. You, that's what it is, you're overreacting. I don't need to apologize. In fact, you should apologize to me for asking me to apologize. And then let's look at some ways that might be good ideas of how to apologize. Hey honey, I want to apologize that I raised my voice at you. I should not have done that. That is not the kind of wife I want to be to you. That is not how I want to treat you. Hey babe, I am so sorry that I yelled at you. That is not the person I want to be. Hey honey, I just want to tell you I am really sorry that I raised my voice. That was rude of me and uncalled for and I apologize. Wait, I just want to apologize for raising my voice just now. Let me try it again. Hey honey, would you mind helping me with sweeping up the floor before my parents come over? That would really be great, thank you. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry that I lost my temper before. Basically, when I apologize, I want to be sincere. I want to take responsibility for what I did wrong and not justify what I did wrong and not blame the other person. The person did something wrong, I can address that, but, but first I need to take care of the beam in my own eye before I try to address the speck in my brother's eye, Jesus says in Matthew 7, 1 through 5. It makes a big difference. My tone of voice makes a big difference. The words I use make a big difference. I don't want to beat myself up. I don't want to beat up my husband. I don't want to beat up my kids or the other person. And then we move on, unless it's something huge. I mean, if if I have to apologize for an affair or something, that's going to be more involved. Usually, if I just lost my temper or something, a quick apology, and then we move on, and I seek to let the Lord help me act the way the Spirit wants me to act after that. Thank you so much for watching. You can also find me at my blogs, PeacefulWife.com and PeacefulSingleGirl.com. You can find me on Facebook at Peaceful Wife Blog, on Instagram at Peaceful Wife, you are welcome to like, share, comment, or subscribe. If you would like to share some ideas of healthy ways to apologize to your spouse or your kids or others, you're welcome to do so in the comments. And I hope that you will choose to have a peaceful day in Christ.